All right, so basically I've looked behind the well, the behind the metal on this and this area that I've got taped off is where I'm going to need to cut to. The well, first thing I'm going to do is get the old grinding wheel out and grind that all down shiny and flush again. I was just going to repair this side with the main part of that fender and then patch in the rest as I uh, as I went along but I think the smarter way to go with it would be to use the um, use the main part of the fender for this side since it needs so much more but I'm going to use the main part of the fender for this side and then put the um, the remnants on the other side since it doesn't need quite as much but I got in here and got to poking a little more right here and it hasn't rusted that much in two days but there's another another spot that made that one a little bit higher so I'm gonna get the grinder out and go to work on it and I already got my air chisel out to take that loose from the the inner parts of the fender just figure I'll just go around and bust all those spot welds from the factory and start cutting so here goes me and that little thing got a little too well acquainted but Got the inner fender well separated from the outer fender well. I'm debating whether to try and straighten up that metal right there any to give me a little bit more to use. But one thing I did find refreshing is look fender well matches up perfect so the front and rear well <coughs> excuse me the front and rear fender wells are the exact same dimension that'll work out great so I can cut this one where I need it which would be right about here and that gives me three and a half inches to that seam, which I can straighten out if I need to for the other side. And we should be good. Now, as far as those cab corners go, I've been looking at a set, but I've got to measure them. Because the set I was looking at don't look like they're the right size so I have to do a little measuring to see but supposedly supposedly the cab corners which I still got some to beat out of here a lot but the cab corners on these trucks go to like right here all the way down I've just got to measure this piece to see if it's uh, well that can't be right the ones I was looking at said that they were seven and a half it might be seven and a half across the back here to that seam but it's surely not seven right there that's only like three and a half maybe four inches wide but anyway I'll get it figured out and if they're the right ones for $45 shipping and everything I can have a replacement for this side and a replacement for the passenger side of the old red one there and what I'm gonna do is probably take some of that fender metal 
and patch up the hole in that one. Because that one's not rotted all the way through. It's close, but not all the way. So once I do that, should be good to go. Get both these sides painted up or plastered up with the metal, tack welded in, and put a final uh, slim bead on it the whole way around. Grind it back down and then uh, start filling it in with body putty and scuff this sucker up and get it painted right. We'll be in good shape then. Okay. About an hour and a half later, and that's with taking breaks for the air compressor. That's what we got. Nice, clean, even cut. I put some rust preventative on it for the inner fender, inner fender well. Since it was rusted as bad as it was, I gotta let that dry. And then we'll cut the inner and outer fender well and weld that back in there. That's one of the handiest things I've ever bought. That I didn't really need, but I'm glad I bought it too. And it's the same story with this side. All cut out, all cleaned up, rust preventative on the inner fender wells. I'll grind the edges of them again tomorrow after all that dries. And then uh, cut my fender and tack it on there. Since I know for sure I can just fit it up in there, I'm gonna go ahead and fit it and mark the spots and then measure and cut. This one's gonna be the easy one. The other one's gonna be kinda hard because I won't have that inner lip right there to use for the other one. What I'm probably gonna wind up doing is tracing the pattern since I got this one off. I'll just straighten up that edge and uh, trace me off a pattern with it out of cardboard or something and then that'll make it a little easier to do this up top here but that's where I'm at with it shut up bird but it shouldn't be too awful long till we got them all patched up and ready to put the the goop on it to seal it up scuff it and then paint it now fortunately those 4x4 four four decals are plentiful all over the internet so I'm not too worried about those plus I don't really need them. If you can't tell it's a 4x4, four four, oh well. But yeah I put a little, holy cow, chicken invasion. Put a little uh, work into it today. Made some decent progress, but got to let all that dry and eat up the rust like it's supposed to and then spray it all back off, scuff it and go. Okay, I decided to make a day of it. Not only did I get those cut out, I still got to get this cut off, but I'm going to have to move the bed back, take it loose and take it off to get that cap corner cut the rest of the way off straight. But I got all my rotten rocker cut out, all back, all the way up to the good metal on both sides. <clears throat> That's the first time that shut off in four hours. Got my cab corner cut out on this side. And I'm just gonna scab a piece in there because I've got a, I'll have enough spare that I can scab one in there pretty easy. And then I cut out my whole rocker panel on this side where it was rotten. 
<clears throat> now I had to be rather skillful on this door because it won't open for some reason and it's not locked it's just jammed somehow but yeah I made some pretty good headway on this thing today um, not all that I'd like to have gotten done but I did get a bunch of it done but anyway I'll give you a little more update later on when I get into it again <laughs> 